Okay, we're going to solve this log equation, and we see that, in fact, we have a small trouble, isn't it? Because all the bases right here, they are different. Therefore, we have to use the change of base formula first to be sure we are working with the same base of all the logarithms. And let me just write down a note right here for you guys. Whenever we have log with a base, let's say b, and the input right here, we just call that to be x. This right here, we can write this as log of x over log of b. And you see, I didn't put down any numbers here because I'm just taking log base 10, log base 10. As long as these two are the same, it's okay. If you would like, you can also take the natural log, right? So you can also do this as, as the natural log of x over the natural log of b, right? You can also do it with log base 3 of x over log base 3 of b. But why bother with that? And just to demonstrate to how to solve this, I will use this form right here. You can have done the same with this, but it doesn't really matter. So let's put it down right here, all right? So our first thing is we have to write this in terms of log of base 10, right? For the first term, we will have log, and the input is x, over log of 5 on the bottom, like this. And you see, as long as you are doing this consistently, it's OK. Do not put down log, log right here, and then put down ln, ln, <laughs> then you defeat the whole purpose of change of base, right? And now, as you can see, all of these three terms, they all have a log of x, right? So, what we'll do is, we'll move this from the right to the left, and then we'll factor out the log of x. But let me move this for you guys first. Left. It becomes negative, right? So we have um, minus log of x over log of 25, and all this is equal to 0. And now, as I said earlier, because they all have the log of x, we can factor that out. So let's do that. Let's put down the log of x all the way in the front, and then open a bigger parentheses. So here, we factor out the log of x, so we have the 1 on the top. For the first term, we will have 1 over log of 5, like this. This is equal to 0. Well, as you can see, we have log of x times this is equal to 0. What is this? Well, you can try if you may, but then no matter what you do right here, this is not 0. This is not 0, OK? Because, well, just you can get a common denominator if you would like, and then no matter what you do, just this is not equal to 0. <laughs> so, uh, the only situation to make this equation true, in fact, here is the only place that has the x, right? We have log x times this non-zero number. That means we must have this equal to 0. So we have to set log of x equal to 0. So let's do that right here. We must have log of x equal to 0. And now you have to ask yourself, log of what will be 0? x has to be what? x has to be 1, OK? Another way to do it is that you know this is log technically with a base 10. And what we'll do is we pretend both sides are the exponents, and we do 10 to this power, and we do 10 to that power, so that this and that will cancel. And we will have x to be 10 to the 0 power, namely, of course, it's just going to be 1, right? So, in fact, the answer to this right here, it's pretty trivial in the sense that x is equal to 1. And when you're plugging 1 into all the x, in fact, log base 5 of 1 is 0, log base 7 of 1 is 0, log base 25 of 1 is 0. 0 plus 0, it's of course 0, 